everyone and welcome to the vlogmas video the whole family is here we want to welcome you and thank you for viewing this video i can't believe how fast this year is going by in a matter of weeks it's going to be january it's going to be a brand new year and so in today's video i had a request to tell you how these two little babies became part of my family so that's what this video is going to be about but before i do the video i want to do a shout out for a little channel that i found now this is a fairly new channel, it's very small, she doesn't have a lot of videos, um, but she's trying lots of different things because she doesn't know what kind of things you guys would be interested, these dogs are getting heavy, what kind of things y'all be interested in seeing. So if y'all would go over and view her channel and give her some YouTube love and tell her that I sent you. And her channel's name is Diana Lynn. And there is a star in front of her name and a star in back of her name. And in today's video, as I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about these two characters and how they became a part of my life. So we're going to start with this girl right here. Y'all are all familiar with Jade. Now, when I uh, got Jade, um, there was a lady that I was working with that raised dachshunds. And she had asked me if I wanted a puppy. Her dog had had a litter, and she asked me if I wanted a puppy. Now, at that particular time, I was working a lot of hours. I had other dogs, cats, and chickens, and I just really didn't even have time to spend with them. And so I didn't want to take another puppy into my house and have the responsibility of it. Can you believe that? I turned down a dog, a dachshund. So anyway, I told her no, that I, I wasn't interested in it at that time. Well, fast forward a little bit, and it came close to time for me to retire. Ginger's getting into my Christmas decorations back there. It came time for me to retire. Okay, so fast forward a few years later, I was getting ready to retire. And her dog had had another litter of puppies, and once again, she came to me and asked me, if I wanted one. And this time I told her yes, because I knew I was going to retire, so I'd have plenty of time to spend with Jade. Now, she lived in another town that was about an hour away from me, so we agreed to meet halfway at a Walmart. So I drove over to the Walmart, which was about 30 miles away from me, to pick up Jade. Now, when I got Jade, she was not a little tiny puppy. She was actually a little bit of a bigger dog, probably like in her teenage years. She wasn't quite a year old yet, but she wasn't a tiny little puppy. And so we, uh, she was cute. When I seen her, I just, I couldn't believe I was getting a dog like that for free. Because she gave it to me for free, and she was actually raising these little guys and selling them. So we went home, and the, I re still remember this. The first thing we did was I took her, and I went and got in the bed, and we laid down, and we took a long nap. Because I was tired, and... And I knew she was stressed and upset because she was in a new environment. And she slept with me really good. And she sleeps with me all the time now. And that's how I acquired Jade. And Jade's name is an acronym or a synonym or something like that. The letters of her name actually mean something. Her name is Just A Dog Enough. Yeah, that's you. Just a dog enough. And that's how I named Jade. And that's how Jade became a part of my family. All right, now on to this next one. Come here, Ginger. It's your turn. Come here. Uh -oh. Now, those of you who've been with me on my channel for a while, remember when I first introduced you to Ginger. Um, I was approached to get Ginger by my ex-daughter-in-law. Uh, there was a dog that was being abused and neglected, and she contacted me and asked me if I would take it in. And it was a chihuahua, my first chihuahua. I knew nothing about him, but I was willing to take her in. Look at that cute little face. How could you say no to that cute little face? So anyway, she brought her over to me. I didn't have to go and drive to get her. And I still remember when, we, when I went outside to the sidewalk to pick her up. She was so scared and timid and mild and meek and skinny as Sorrel. I think she probably weighed three, four, maybe five pounds. And as you can see now, she's put on quite a bit of weight. She's probably close to seven or eight pounds now. She's a little nervous on camera. Are you scared, baby girl? But when I brought her in, 
she was scared of noises, my loud voice and singing because I sing loud and I joke around and stuff. She was scared of that. And I noticed when she was down on the floor and I would reach down to pet her, she would hunch down the way a dog does when it's been kicked or hit or something. So somebody had really been being mean to this poor little girl. But she's kind of come out of it now. She's still a little bit timid. But, oh, I forgot. I was going to tell you about uh, Jade. I'll get back to Jade again in a minute. Her favorite thing, she loves any kind of food. She probably pretty much eats whatever. And her favorite things are toys. She loves them on Chi Chi's. She especially loves the hard plastic chew bones. That's her thing. And that's how Jade Ginger, <laughs> that's how Ginger came to be a part of my family. And the girl told me she's about three years old. So I'm going to put her down now because she's scared. And I was going to tell you, Jade's favorite food is chicken. And her favorite thing is Monchichis. She loves the Monchichis. So that's it for this Vlogmas. That is the story of how Ginger and Jade came to be a part of my life. And I love them so much. I'm so glad I got them. Thank you guys for viewing this video and Vlogmas. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.